Hello everyone, continuing with the project cycle series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about data acquisition. And here is the today's agenda. We are going to focus on what is data acquisition, what is data, classifications of data, data features and data sources. So first of all, what is data acquisition? Before going to the definition of data acquisition, let's see what these words mean. Data acquisition is made of two words, data and acquisition. Data is a collection of raw facts in different forms and acquisition means acquiring something, gathering or collecting. And these both when written together means acquiring or gathering data. So data acquisition is the process of collecting accurate and reliable data to work with. But don't you wonder that why accurate and reliable data? Hold on. Let's discuss about data first. We have already covered the important things about data in domains of AI. Or you can see what is data video for better understanding. All the links will be provided in description. Just to sum it up, data is a collection of raw facts which can be processed to make information out of it. Data is the core of any AI system. Data can be in the form of numbers, words, symbols or even pictures. For example, numbers like 10, 20, 2006, 29, 6, etc. Words like something, learning, thank you, etc. Symbols like which you can see on the screen. Data can be qualitative data or quantitative data. Qualitative data also known as text data is descriptive information which describes something and quantitative data also known as numeric data is numerical information which is numbers. Quantitative data can be further divided into discrete or continuous data. We discussed also about classification data on the basis of structure. It can be divided into two structured and unstructured data. Structured data can be represented in form of rows and column and the best example is database. Structured data is nearly 20% of total data existing and the other 80% is unstructured data. See domains of AI for more information on data. Data features is nothing but a column in your data collection which represents a measurable piece of data that can be used for analysis. Example, name, age, gender, date of birth, and so on. Data features are also sometimes referred to as variables or attributes. Every project will have its own data features and the business users will give it to the programmer. Now from data acquisition, we have covered data. Now let's see what is acquisition and discuss the methods of acquiring data. We know about problem scoping in which we discussed about four W's and one of them was what in which we were told to gather evidence to prove that a problem which we selected actually exists. So we know what to gather that is data, but from where to gather that is sources of data. Let's discuss the sources from which we can gather data for our project. These are the six main sources of data acquisition. Let's discuss them one by one. First is surveys. Survey is one of the method to gather data for the second stage of AI project cycle, that is data acquisition. Survey is a method of gathering specific information from a sample of people. For example, a census survey is conducted every year for analyzing the population. Surveys are conducted in particular areas to acquire data from particular people. Second is cameras. Camera captures the visual information and then that information which is called image is used as a source of data. Third is sensors. Sensors are very important but very simple to understand. Sensors are the part of IoT. IoT is Internet of Things. Example of IoT is smart watches or smart fire alarm which automatically detects wire and starts the alarm. How does this happen? This happens when sensors like fire sensor sends data to the IoT or the smart alarm and if sensor detects heat or fire, the alarm starts. The fourth one is web scrapping. Web scrapping means collecting data from web using some technologies. We use it for monitoring prices, news and etc. For example, using programming, we can do web scrapping using beautiful soup in Python. And beautiful soup is a package in Python. Fifth one is observations. When we observe something carefully, we get some information. For example, scientists take insects in observation for years and that data will be used by them. So this is a data source. The last one is API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. An application programming interface API is a connection between computers or between computer programs. It is a type of software interface offering a service to other pieces of software. A document or standard that describes how to build such a connection or interface is called an API specification. Okay, let's make it simple. For example, when we visit a restaurant and check the menu, 
and then you want to order some food. Do you go to the kitchen and ask the cook to prepare food? No, right. You ask the waiter for the order and then the waiter gives that order to the main kitchen area. So here waiter is a messenger which takes a request and tells the kitchen what you want. And then the waiter responds you with the food. Like that, API is actually a messenger which takes a request from you and then tells the system what you want and then it gives you a response. Now the response which it takes can be in JSON format or other formats. Well, what is JSON? It looks something like this, but we need not to go in depth about it. Now we have discussed the different sources from which we can collect data, but one important thing is that the collected data should be obtained from authentic and reliable sources for the authenticity of the project. Sometimes you use the internet and try to acquire data for your project for some random websites. Such data might not be authentic as its accuracy cannot be proved. Due to this, it becomes very necessary to find a reliable source of data from where some authentic information can be taken. At the same time, we should keep in mind that the data which we collect is open sourced and not someone's property. Extracting private data can be an offense. One of the most reliable and authentic sources of information are the open sourced websites hosted by the government. These government portals have general information collected in suitable format, which can be downloaded and used wisely. Some of the open sourced government portals are data.gov.in, india.gov.in. In the next video, we will be discussing about system maps. Link for the practice questions will be posted in the description and you can get all the notes from ai4kids.in. Link is provided in description. Thank you.